Good morning from Epcot. We're here today for our Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind annual pass holder preview. It's here. It's happening. I'm so excited. Very excited to ride this ride. Yes. I have had zero spoilers. I know nothing of what's going to happen on this ride. I only know that it's it's exciting, but not too thrilling that I'll be like scared. Okay. That's all that I know. I know that it has the Guardians of the Galaxy in it. <laughs> I know it's going to be a lot of music. I'm very excited. I know that we might hear Gloria Stefan. Oh, okay. Should be pretty good. All right. So we're going to head back right now. We already checked in at, with our magic band coming into the park. Now we're headed back towards Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, to get to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rio and we're headed towards Spaceship Earth. And we're gonna kind of veer to the left underneath it. Ooh, I don't know why, but the sign for Spaceship Earth is covered up. Oh, 20 minute wait. I guess the, the, the time, like the wait time is a little messed up, the counter. So we're headed towards Connections Cafe and we're gonna go in between Connections Cafe and the Creation Shop and head over towards Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So we are over here by Connections Cafe, and we're going through the breezeway between Connections and Creation Shop. And there it is, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, coming summer of 2022. That is this month. All right, here we are. We're going to the special event check-in, which is the annual pass holder preview of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I was going to show you guys Guardians of the Galaxy. It's on the other side of this guest experience umbrellas. There it is, the Wonders of Xandar. That's what they call the pavilion, the Wonders of Xandar pavilion. This is Jacob, and he is wearing the Wonders of Xandar pavilion uniform. Whoa. Very nice. I like Are those like to keep all of the space heat out? Yes. And oh. okay. This is Tara. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> here. All right, well, people waiting in line. This is it. The Xandarian ship. That's what they arrove here on to set up the wonders of Xandar Pavilion. I am sad that they took away the solar panels on the roof. I thought for sure they'd come back. I thought so too, yeah. but nope. They, maybe they put them somewhere else on property to like make up for the loss, you know? Maybe. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of silly that they didn't bring them back. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close up view of the spaceship. Also, the lights on the ground are the same lights that are on the ceiling in between Connections Cafe and Creation Shop, and very similar to the lights that are on Spaceship Earth. So I would imagine that during the show, they would react and then change colors very similar to the way that they do on Spaceship Earth. So during annual pass holder previews, Child Swap is not set up fully yet. So what they're doing is they're just having people wait around the corner with the child, and then we come back through Lightning Lane. So the, most of our party is going to go through the regular queue, and then when we come back through, after we swap off Jackson, then we go through Lightning Lane. Very similar to the way that, that Child Swap works, but it's just not currently set up in the system to where we tap our magic bands and things like that. There it is, the Guardians of the Galaxy symbol on the outside, and we are headed in now. Welcome to the Wonders of Xandar. From our world to yours. Oh yeah, this feels very Epcot. I like that. This feels like test track. Pretty neat. It feels like a space test track. I like it a lot. Is this like the portal where they came from? Because there's like a thing underneath here. Ooh, what did it do? If you have just joined us, greetings Terrans. Thank you. I am Worldmind, the Xandarian sentient supercomputer. In my expensive database are stored the combined knowledge of every Xandarian that has ever lived. Recently, I have been learning so much more about you Terrans. We Xandarians and Terrans have much in common, including our mutual love of exploration. Yeah. Xandarians have explored many celestial bodies. Oh. What you Terrans call planets and many fascinating life forms. Ooh. In the past, it's like we're in a space Ikea. Oh, so we're learning about the history of Xandar. In time, we built our city in honor of the Nova, a beacon to all. Oh, that was the Nova Core symbol on the outside of the building. Oh, I like this. Xandar's urban core is home to some of our most unique residents. Oh. Many Xandarians prefer living high above the city. Others choose our underwater homes. Oh, that's where I would live. Underwater? Xandar is also home to the Nova Core. So the Nova Core. The goal is to maintain universal peace and security. Work and play. It's interesting that like we see some of this tech in other places. Like we saw this on Star Cruiser. And then I feel like we've seen 
some of the other projection tech in like Avatar, Flight of Passage, yeah, Flight of Passage. You might discover that its wings can flare out and form a star shape, resembling the Nova Cord logo. Oh. I like it. So this is called the Star Blaster? And this is the same ship that is outside of the building. This is neat. It's like we're walking through... It's like we're walking through a museum. Well, there's the Star Jammer, the Star Blaster, and the Star Cutter. Okay. Now we've got a good, a good understanding of some of the different ships that we might see. And here he is now. Peter Quill, what hey. do you have to say about this? I would like to hear more about how Terra was chosen for this Honors of Xandar tour. Well, that was Personal cool. transport craft? And Dude, because I love that place. It's awesome. I went there as a kid, and I, I, I mean, I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Oh. Also want to see the energy, dinosaurs, oh. and, of course, hear the veggie veggie fruit fruit. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Peter, I have some very bad news for you. Everything you are excited about has been torn down and demolished. So, I'm sorry. Something that I wanted to mention though is when the ride fully opens, don't fret about a long line because a long line means that you'll be able to see all of these things end up. Yeah. I'm excited to come back and wait in the line so I can learn more about the things that we sort of brushed through right there. Yeah. Wait, did you say the leader? I, I'm the leader. Wait, who said that? It was Rocket. <laughs> well, don't believe anything, Rocket. He says that Rocket's the leader of the group. Oh, Rocket is? Oh, oh they're trying to believe that. It was 12% of a Did you notice that he's wearing a shirt? I did notice that. Yeah, that was Why? a contract thing. Oh, it was? Yeah, Dave Batista didn't want to not wear a shirt anymore. Oh, really? He wanted to wear a shirt. <laughs> Look at this. We're just in a big, very Epcot-y room. This feels a lot like uh, Universe of Energy. Universe of Energy! Right? We got not carpet, but it is a textured fabric wall. Yeah, man. Feels, feels very Epcot-y in here. Right. Please step forward into the welcome center, oh. making room for everyone. I like this. Oh. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, commander of the Nova Corps. I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment. One which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the cosmic generator, Xandarian technology that creates artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. So that together, we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, you will be teleported to a Nova ship for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Passholders. What? <laughs> Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Whoa, this is neat. Okay, before we begin, I should warn you that we have never teleported Terrans before. But since your molecular structure is very similar to Xandarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, Stand by for teleportation! Generator is gone. Sure, 
Grandmother, go to Code Red and call the Gardens. Now! Hey, what's up, Nova 4? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? I am rude. <laughs> Who do you think took it? Perhaps a really big man outside your ship. Well, that is a big man. I have been watching Terrans for eons. This species has failed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Like going through the ship now. Proceed to the Star Jumper. This reminds me of the Galactic Star Cruiser where there was an alarm and we had to all go to a specific place. I like it. We're in space now. In a spaceship. Oh man, feels like rock and roller coaster. I was hoping to see them launch. Are there two of them? Oh wow. You gotta push us through. We gotta get the, the big guy. Yeah. Oh, there they go. This is awesome. This feels, oh, it's going. That reminds me of Space Mountain because you pumped. Right? This is a very Disney. Also, I do like every seat is going to be a good seat because of the spinning. Yeah. So that makes me happy. I think everything about this makes me happy. Wow. I love it. So I don't think we'll be able to film on the ride. No, I don't think you're allowed to film. On but the ride. we will definitely describe it to you guys. All right, we're getting ready to get on right now. They did say there's a pouch for like your glasses and your phone. Okay, Just and your hat. You know, and my hat. Oh, I don't want to take my hat off. Well, it's yeah. Off. yeah. <laughs> and I almost flew off just then. <laughs> Neat little Easter eggy type thing is here on the way out. There is a mirror for cast members to check their appearance before going on stage because where we come out is what they would consider backstage at Epcot, you see? Oh, it just says exit only. I thought it said, it said, it said cast members only. But yeah, you come out kind of on the side of the building. Hey, how's it going? But you don't go through the gift shop. And, and unfortunately, the Treasures of Xandar is not open for the annual pass holder preview. Dang. So, we just got off Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It was awesome. Like, I really enjoyed that ride, and it was mostly the music for me. The plot was very hard to follow. I don't know that there was much of, like, a plot on the ride. I think there was. I think it was just a feeling. Right? It was just like... Well, no, we had to defeat that guy, the Celestial. I have to be honest with you. I didn't get any of that. Yeah. Like, my whole... The whole thing that I felt on... I literally cried. I was crying. I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> it was so good. It really felt like... Do you remember when we rode Pandora and I was like, this feels like what heaven is like? Yeah. That's what this felt like. It felt like you were literally like going up to heaven. Yeah, you were like floating <laughs> through space. Yeah. Tears for Fears was there. I think it was the music that really made me emotional too. Yeah, it was good. It was, we got Everybody Wants to Rule the World and it was just so like, it, you just felt like weightless and there was like, you know, you were looking at like the stars. You really felt like you were floating through space. It was so smooth. It was very smooth and you got to see a lot of stuff. You got to see planets, you got to see the moon, you got to see the earth, you got to see the Milky Way. It was beautiful. Like, yeah. it was so, I think, I've never ridden a ride and thought like, I wish that my mom could have experienced oh, no. it. <laughs> yeah, like that really is what I felt like. It was one of those things that I'm like, this is something that I wish that everybody could experience. Right. It, it was really, really, I can't wait to ride it again. Like yeah. I'm literally, 
I loved it. So there you go. I feel like that's the best endorsement that we can give you of this ride. You're gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> It was good, and the music was just the right volume to really hit you in the feels too. It was, it was perfect. Everything about it was perfect. Yeah. It wasn't scary at all. Like it was a little. Um, it took me back when we did the backwards launch, but it was so just smooth, and it wasn't scary at all. It was a little bit disorienting because there was spinning, but it wasn't like cat in the hat constant spinning. No. It was. It just added to it, and you I felt think, like you were gliding through space. Yeah, and I think that because it turns and it moves. <laughs> very similar to Gringotts. I think people will compare it to Gringotts. You can't. It's not like Gringotts at all. Not like Gringotts at all. Like I didn't get emotional on Gringotts here. There's like so much emotion in the music, in the what's happening, in the visuals. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. I loved it. All right. So while we were on Guardians of the Galaxy, Lynn had Jackson over here at the playground and now mommy and Lynn are riding Guardians of the Galaxy uh, with the child swap option and we are going to go ride Three Caballeros over in the Mexico Pavilion. I'm excited. I don't know if Jackson's ever ridden it. It'd be a nice little boat ride. We made it out to World Showcase. There were a lot of people around Guardians of the Galaxy. Not a lot of people out here. There it is, the Mexico Pavilion. We're headed in to go ride three caballeros. Ah, it's been a while since I've been inside the Mexico Pavilion. I'm kind of excited. I don't think Jackson has ridden three caballeros yet. I think maybe he has. Maybe he was younger though. Here we go. The Grand Fiesta Tour. You ready? Hold my hand. Good job, buddy. There you go, buddy. Ooh. Now this is nice. Nice and relaxing. We're gonna keep our eyes out for Donald, and if we see him, then we tell Jose and Panchito. There he is. Oh, no, he's not dancing very much right now. Hey, hey, right, buddy? Who's that? There's Donald. Mommy and Lynn got off the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, and now we're riding Grand Fiesta Tour again because Jackson said, can I ride the boat ride again? I'm gonna ride with you guys. Yeah. Oh, there's way less of a line now. This is There was a little bit of a line when we just rode it, now there's not. I think the best part about this is sometimes you get your own boat, and right now we have our own boat. There he is. Oh, look, look, look. Right there. He's over here too. So many Donalds. Stopped off at Kid Cut on the way out, and Jackson got his very own card from Mexico in his little suitcase from Ziploc. There's 11 cards that you can get. You gonna put your, your sticker on? And these cards have facts about Mexico, and then a sticker, and then a coloring page on the back for you to color when you get home from the park. Whoa, bud, it's Donald, and he has a pinata. He's cheating, though. Uh oh. Now that we're done with the Mexico Pavilion, we're headed over towards Connections Eatery. Jen hasn't eaten there yet, and I want to try a different thing. I want to try um, one of the burgers. Or actually, I think I want to try the, I think it was on the banh mi. Oh yeah. I want to try that one. Okay, I want and to try also, the chicken sandwich. Yeah, I heard good things about it, but then our friend is with us and he said that it wasn't, it was lukewarm, it wasn't great. Oh. So is it, I don't know, hopefully it'll be warm today. Okay, so I got to ride the Guardians roller coaster again, because we did child swap and they allow you to take two people. Yeah. So Lynn got her turn on it and she let me go with her, which was very exciting. And this time, we got, um, One Way or Another was the song that we got. Okay. And I have to say, this, the music definitely makes a difference. Not as emotional. Not as emotional, it's really fun. It was super fun. It, it was a little more, um, like, what's the word, like, up, like peppy? Yeah. You know? It was still just as smooth and the, uh, like, the graphics were still just as, like, clear. It was still the perfect ride, but it was definitely less emotional okay. this time. I loved it just as much. Gotcha. Here we are, Connections Eatery. We're actually right next to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Monorails are going slow around the park. We checked mobile ordering and it was an hour wait. So we waited in line. I think we waited about 20 minutes to place our order. So now it's time to pick it up. I always thought it was funny that they have a meatball pizza here. All right, here's what I got. I got my chicken sandwich and then some french fries with it. Jen got the banh mi, but they changed the bun. So I wouldn't have ordered it if I knew it looked like this, but it has pickled vegetables, sriracha mayo, and uh, cilantro, cucumber, and basil. But I thought it was going to be like a like a sub almost. Yeah. That's what it that's what it said that it was last time. That's yeah. what the menu said it was. So 
so we'll see. We'll see how it is. Okay. So good? Pretty good. Okay. The meat is very thick. Like super thick meat. I don't love that. <laughs> but it does have a nice flavor. Okay. There's, it's heavily flavored of basil. Our friend got the General Tso's salad. Pretty nice. It's got some, some fried chicken on it. Some wonton strips. It looks so good. It looks pretty nice. Some cuties. Some cuties? Yeah. Oh yeah, down here? Okay. And then of course we got the waffle. I've never had the waffle, but I've heard great things about the waffle. It's so like crispy. This is too big. <laughs> the sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar, isn't it? <laughs> like crunchy. It's pretty nice. I think I would like it also without the fruit. Or one or the other, like the fruit and the, or the just the chocolate. So fun fact. You can get it without all the toppings on it over at Starbucks. No, I like, I want the toppings, but I want it either to be whipped cream and strawberries or whipped cream and chocolate. Oh, okay. I don't know if I like them together. I want it to be ice cream on top. That would be really good, yeah. Why don't they do that? I don't know. Do they have ice cream here? No. Yeah, because they have the milkshakes. Oh. So they must have like some kind of way to make ice cream, right? Yeah. Wow. I love that. Maybe I do like it, chocolate and strawberry. Okay. Switching it up, I see. <laughs> That's really good. I also have to say, I love my burger. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to love it because I was looking forward to that bread, but it was so good. The Thai basil on the burger was so nice. And then there was like little pieces of cilantro here and there. So it just had this really like bright, like earthy, like herby flavor. Um, but then it also had sriracha mayo. So it was like spicy. It, it was really, really good. I wish it had a better quality meat patty but it was pretty good for like uh, quick serve. So I love it, I would totally come here again. That darn chicken sandwich that I had was the best quick service chicken sandwich I've ever had. Well, everybody kept saying how good it was and I'm like, is it really though? Are you just saying that? It was really good. Not the best chicken sandwich I've had on property. <laughs> that was Everglades. Oh yeah. But I'm not counting Everglades, it's quick service. Number one, it's not a Disney restaurant. And number two, it's not a park. Uh, but this was the best one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it was, was good. It was super crispy, hot, spicy. The bun, yeah, I love the spice. Really good. All right, we're gonna stop in the creation shop because I want to see if they have any of the stuff that's been sold out for a while. They did bring back that backpack. I wonder if they still have any. For five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, they have a Lionel train Whoa. for the fiftieth. You can see it down here. Looks really cool and it has Bluetooth. Control it from your phone. I'd rather have this. Well, yeah, it's only one hundred and twenty-five dollars. And the door's open. And the door's open. Now you can get an extra train for this train set up here. Fireworks and Main Street. Oh, it's cool. It's like you're looking down Main Street. So I think this is $150. Yeah, $150 for the extra train. Oh yeah, here is the bag that everybody was clamoring for on opening weekend. The one I bought my one jacket that has the, the gigantic pocket on it. This also went on sale and it sold out immediately. And now it's back in stock. Looks like they got a lot of them. How much is this? $60. They have a section here of Imagination merch. And this cup here says, One Little Spark. And it's got Figment on it. And then the Imagination Institute emblem on the top. I like this. This is cool. For $25. Like, iridescent, too. The Mickey Mouse The Main Attraction Collection. We're on to Series 2, which is Pirates. We did Series 1, which was Space Mountain. And now we're on to Pirates. So there's going to be 12 of these total. We're on number two. Oh, look, it says right here, two of 12. Which one, I think for me, I want to see the tea, uh, cup tea, one? the tea party. I would like to see, oh, maybe the Jungle Cruise. I'd like to see Haunted Mansion and Big Thunder. Okay. You know that's why they put those towards the end. Oh, yeah. This, I don't know, I don't love this collection. I don't I like hate, the I colors. Yeah. But and then they, what's this, is this just the castle? Oh, no, it's Small World. That's Small World, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm excited to see that one too. So there's a whole thing, there's the the plush. There are the ears. See, we should have brought we should have got the ears for Pirate Night on the cruise. Oh yeah. That is something I think you should do. If you're into Pirate Night on the cruises, get the ears. Def definitely. Yeah. And then there is the Lounge Fly backpack. If you were to get every one of the 12 series, that'd be a lot of money. Still uh still selling the Life Day merch. 
They cannot give this away. Can't give it away. I'm surprised it's not at the outlet, though. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Epcot to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And to try Connections Eatery. Yeah. And to check out, I've never actually been in the Creation Shop. So many things. <laughs> yeah. So many new things. Mm -hmm. uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was amazing. I can't wait to ride it again when it's open. Yeah, I can't wait to ride it either. Uh, on the way out, somebody said, oh no, you totally could have filmed on the ride. And I was like, oh. Oh no. Oh no. So next time, we will film on the ride. But hopefully we described it in a way that made you feel like you were there with us. Right? So. It was a good time. Connections eatery, delicious. Mm -hmm. I really like the waffle. I like my, my chicken sandwich was amazing. Yeah, I can't believe how good the food is there. And I like that they're constantly changing the merch around in Creation Shop. Me too. Like it's always neat to go in there and be like, oh, there's something new in here. <laughs> can't wait till we can see Magic Band Plus. That wasn't in there this time, but soon I feel like, <laughs> soon. But all in all. All in all, it was a fantastic day. And so with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay the price. price.